As a bit of review, in a previous video, we took our decimal numbers and alphabetized them so we could see which ones were the lowest ones to the highest number. Remember, we looked at the ones column to find the smallest number. Here we have two zeros, so these will come out for consideration. Lining up the decimal point, we see that 3 is larger than the 8, which is with our second numbers. Going back to our data set, now we're looking for ones. Here's a one. That's the only one, so that would be next. We have two twos, so we're going to look at second numbers. Zero is smaller than six, so 2.0 is next, and 2.6 is after. Going back to our data set, we have a four and two threes. So the threes are next. We're going to look at second numbers. So a four is smaller than nine. 3.4, 3.9, and finally, the 4.1. That's how they look arranged on a data set. This is very easy for a child, particularly um, using the manipulatives on a, a flat surface. is very, very interesting for a child who has um, ADHD, ADD, where they're, um, they're not always focused in on writing. Another, another malady that some students have are, is dysgraphia, where they do not uh, always form their numbers or letters correctly, which is pretty frustrating for some children. Uh, the movable cards on a flat surface gives those children a break. They're still learning the break from writing. They're still learning and uh, processing mentally. And uh, for a child who is uh, doesn't mind writing, it's kind of a break from the routine. So these um, manipulatives are very um, interesting for the, for children, and uh, it, uh, it scrambles up and gives them uh, some variety in the way they're taught. All right, we have the line of decimals now in ascending order. That would be from lo uh, lowest to, to uh, larger. How would that actually look on a number line? A number line would start with a zero, and perhaps we're going to do a one. This reminds you of a ruler, I hope. Rulers have those designations on them. So we're, we're really reading a ruler here with this exercise of a number line. This happens to be a ruler in standard measurement. If you were to get a, a meter stick or a meter a ruler, a centimeter ruler, you would have this, these delineations where you'd have a 0, 1, 2, and 3. Um, this particular 0 is a little offset. So let me move it over just a little bit. It's supposed to be equal spacing. When we're doing centimeters or when we're doing the, um, the decimals, we're actually uh, t dividing the decades here. We have a decade of 0 to, to 1, a decade of 1 to 2, and a decade of 2 to 3. And as you can see, those match the, the ones column of our numbers. Here's the 0 decade. The ones would go in this decade. The twos would go in here somewhere. The threes here, and the, the four would be off the chart. So let's see if we can actually place these. Within the decade, there are basically 10 uh, smaller segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then the one would be the 10. So there would be 10 of 10 marks, 10 jumps to get from zero to one. I get my halfway mark so I can judge this properly. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 is the 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, so that's going to be helpful when we actually go to place because the um, point 0.03 would be definitely in within this decade, and we would be three jumps over, one, two, and three. So our three would be placed here. Our point three would be placed here. Point eight, we would go eight jumps this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this would be the placement of the point 0.08. 1.7 is in this next decade. The 1 tells us that this number comes between the 1 and the 2. Those are the marks on the ruler. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Our 2.0, that means we're at 2 and no tenths. So that's actually this line itself. Two point six. We're in the two to three. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 